the way your family raised you, they did the best they could, but it doesn't mean they know best. Because I'm sorry, you can't tell me how to be rich if you've never been rich. Stop taking advice from poverty, from the people that's poor. They can share their mistakes on how you be, become poor. That's just the facts. They can tell you what they did, and then you'll know, all right, if I follow their road, it's, I'm going to be poor. Black female says, don't listen to your parents' advice if they're poor. And this is why... The state of these modern black females is so low and degenerate because why is it that you will only value your own parents that sacrifice their time to create such an ingrate and ungrateful human like you? For what? Your parents were better off living their best life like females are today. But you know what? They decided not to. The fact that they think value is in richness or how much money you make. All these material things. They think that's what makes you valuable. Forgetting that it's the things you can't buy. Those are the most valuable things that you can have. And the family that they created is what actually even gave you value. It gave you life. It's why you're here. See, females who speak like this, they don't actually think about, well, why is it this and that happened? Why is it that they grew up poor? What was their state like? What was their day like? A lot of these females, they're quick to want to get rich. They're quick to want to get money but they don't seem to acknowledge and don't want to acknowledge that family is probably the best investment you can make it's the best investment not only for yourself but for your community for your children and the next generation and unlike this one our parents and grandparents and our ancestors they understood this that's the only reason why we're here You think our parents had to have us? They made a choice to sacrifice and have a family because they wanted to see us do better. With all the opportunities they didn't have and even did have, they still decided to put our future first with all that they had. So to just disregard them completely is stupid and it's foolish. And this is how you forget who you are. It's those life lessons that you forget by just disregarding your own parents, your own family, just because they don't make money, just because they're not rich. These type of black females, they want to be like white people. They envy how white people live. They envy all the richness that they have, the generational wealth that they have when they choose to also ignore the history and how long it took them to even get where they are now. It took them having to enslave your ancestors and destroying your ancestors to get them where they are now. But these females, because they're so desperate and thirsty for their lifestyle, they will just ignore it and act as if that they are the new generation who know better and doing better but really all you're doing is owning a business that has everything to do with feminine hygiene what does that even do for the black community how does that help the state of this generation and the next generation sweet cookie wet punani that's what you have to offer that's what you bring to the table so we should listen to you That's what you're saying because you're just so desperate to live like the white man that you can't even start with your own community. Instead, you want to sell some useless products for females so they can just get what? Better D-game? All these things that nature can provide us is healthier ways of doing it. But these females, they're so thirsty and they have nothing to offer. They make these useless business and sell it to the black community and act as if they're the ish they're the ceo they're the grand they're doing much better than the black man the average black man when all you're doing is sending 
products for other females coochie well done there's still no generational wealth there's still lack of families there's single motherhood rising degeneracy is being promoted what have you done nothing but you're quick to speak about who raised your ungrateful self and you're quick to speak about richness and wealth when you know nothing about it I'm your host, Reminent Princess, and here are my last thoughts. Black females today, they don't want to have to listen to their parents, their elders, or even um, learn about their history and why the state of black people is the way it is today. Because what that does is it lets them know that this get rich quick scheme doesn't help our community. You will actually need to sacrifice just like our parents did and our grandparents did. You will actually will need to have a family, help build a community, find ways that can elevate all of us instead of yourself. And that's the state of black female today. They don't want to do that. They just want to elevate themselves and how they can be able to live like the white man and the white woman. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye.